Welcome to Horse Racing Gamer, where champions are made. YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to another episode of Rival Stars Mobile. This is our Philly Bells B. I just decided to stick with the name. I did acquire Jose uh, Perez as her trainer um, or caretaker. And uh, now she is obviously going to be a mare. She has completely uh, grown and she has decent stats. So I'm really excited to see what she'll do for us uh, in live events. She looks awesome and I can't wait to see her on track. And we'll get her tack and race done, I believe, in this episode. All right, guys, welcome back here uh, to Rival Stars. Um, I'm pretty sure I just did some um, uh, commentary over the clips I originally recorded uh, to show you that our new three-year-old uh, horse, who is Bells B, and I decided I'm just going to keep her name to that. Um, yeah, she is uh, ready to go. And uh, she actually turned out with full nine uh, bonus points. So what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to end up rearranging these stalls um, a little bit. In fact, you know, I'll do it later. I don't need to do it now. Um, so like I said, with Bells B, just take a look at her stats. Her speed really is 47. Her sprint energy right now is 49 and her acceleration is 46. So um, she didn't turn out too bad for a Division 3 or, excuse me, a, a Division 2 uh, three-star horse. So we're going to go ahead and get her tack going. And uh, yeah, I actually decided, because I'm still recording this technically in the same day as probably the previous couple of Rival Stars episodes, I'm going to keep her name as, Be as Bells B. Um, I actually like that, um, ironically. Uh, that was a mistake, a typo, and I'm like, actually, that sounds pretty nifty. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and keep that for her. Now to get to her tack, as soon as we can get over there. Quiet Arrow, Samurai Torpedo, Bells B. Now, her mother, obviously, uh, who is she from again? Bells B is from Snowbell out of, no, Lullaby Beauty out of somebody, actually. Hold on. Who is she from? I forgot that quick. Definitely Snowbell's from Mother. No. Ring the Bell and Lullaby Beauty. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, so Ring the Bell has, of course, the orange, uh, the orange tack that we did uh, with that new two-year-old or two-star horse recently. Um, we can give her kind of her own look, and I definitely want to. I want to give her something that looks pretty nice. Um, and there's still a weird thing in this game where, like, some of your attack doesn't always show up in every race. Like, the colors, like, either go to, like, default, or it's some weird thing. And I don't know if it's just everybody else's game or just mine, but, you know, it still happens. I'm really surprised at the limiting amount of tack options. And, like, more of this stuff didn't used to cost, like, roses and gold, and now it does. So that, that's a little bit annoying. Um, but it is what it is. I hate... I have so much of these Peachy Keen, like, um, headwear accessories. I just... I don't like them at all. I think they look really just kind of, like, tacky. Um, Bells B. Let's see. What can we give her? Can you even give her, like, a proper, like, pink mask? Because everything just costs. Coins or... Um, it either costs gold, I should say, or like I said, roses. Like, I'm not going to pay, use my gold or anything like that to acquire some of these. Like, that's just foolish. Could give her the white. But I feel like I've done that already. I'm trying to go for something new, but like, I don't actually have that many options because you're kind of limited. Could give her the red. It's probably the best I can do. As far as trying to give her something a little bit more original. But again, when you look at the saddle pads, these all look the same. I might just stick with just a regular one because um, none of them actually look too good. Um, as far as what else I want to give her, uh, let's go ahead and see. Tropical Sunrise for Bells B. You know what? I like that. And then the bridle, give her something special. I think a shadow roll would kind of suit her. This isn't bad. This is the kind of the whole tropical sunrise get up. But actually, let's see what else we can do. The yellow, it's not terrible. Wish they had like a yellow shadow roll, but they don't. It's a little bit disappointing. Um, yeah, I just, so I promise you guys, like now these cost gold. Are you kidding me? When did that happen? I just purchased these recently and they did not cost gold at all. Oh, wow, that, that's actually really crazy. That's like super duper crazy. I promise you, these accessories that are here, I swear they didn't used to cost. Or maybe I'm thinking about the desktop version. I could be. Either way, they used to be free. Like 100% they used to be free. Now they're not. I think I'm just going to do the yellow. I'm going to give her a little bit of a different look. Again, I still wish there was more customization, but there 
isn't, unfortunately. Still pretty limited here. Um, as far as the customization is going, I'll go ahead and just get rid of the yellow. Get her picture taken. We'll get her in one race, and then that'll probably conclude uh, this episode. Um, I'm going to leave myself off. Let's see. Let's get her a good one. Inquisitive. Bells B. Pawning. Let's go ahead and um, switch the scene up a little bit. You know what? This is actually fine. I think that blends in with the tree. That's a nice little, um, that's a nice background and contrast. So we'll do that, and then we'll get her in one race. See how she looks on the track, most importantly. Um, I think she runs 1,400 meters. So as always, we'll have to run her at three oaks and uh, see how she does in her first race. She should win, like most of the horses do. Pretty heavy favorite. She, again, she is a three-star horse. Um... Ring the Bell actually already did well for me. If you guys saw, obviously, um, a couple minutes ago, we actually placed sixth in the live event. Sixth worldwide with Ring the Bell. That's, like, fantastic. So, um, so yeah, uh, turns out that I think his breeding has gone over successfully so far for us to place sixth out of all the people that play this game worldwide. Like, think about that. So, we've... Um, I didn't mean to skip results. Oh, uh, no. See, I was in the habit of doing that because I've just been grinding resources. Uh, it's okay. We'll just go ahead and just have her do this race again. She's probably going to win it anyways. And she does. And she wins by two whole seconds. Actually, since she won that so handedly, let's go ahead and um, we'll do give her quick training, step her up a little bit in competition, and then see how she handles that before we close out. And I can't even really train her in anything except for sprint energy. Is that even available? Where is she? There she is. Okay. So I can give her a better... Okay, that's actually all I can do. Never mind. All right, let's just get her last race done and let me remember to actually watch it this time. Back to Three Oaks. Uh, let's try the second race. She should be able to still do this one. Yeah, I have to organize my horses. It's kind of a mess here. Jockey, do not skip to results. Start race. There we go. Now we finally have everything uh, here correctly. Uh, so again, this will be the last race. We'll see how she looks in real time. And um, yeah, then I'll continue to look forward to uh, planning my weekend in this game because there's a huge live event coming up this Sunday, Derby weekend. So I'm going to make sure I want to make sure all of my newest um, foals that are obviously adults now, my newest horses that you guys have seen us breed and create. I want to make sure they're all ready for those live events just to give us the best chance of trying to succeed. So she's going 1200 meters. On Zitef here in Three Oaks, Field of Eight. And we are off and running. So it's a pretty good start here for Bells B. She gets out to a flat blind. I don't even know what word I'm looking for. She gets out to a really fast start is what I was trying to say. And uh, she's already ahead by two lengths. I think she is a front runner. So that is going to suit her quite well in a lot of these races. And like I said, she was max stats. Nine uh, complete bonus stats considering she wasn't even... Um, maxed out at her base level. Uh, that's good. It means when she's finally hit all of her peaks as far as how much she can grow and her extra levels, um, she should be a little bit above the average. So uh, for, you know, three-star horse, I'm hoping she can um, bring us some good success with live events too. I still need to, I still need to do better with breeding. Um, I thought I had more perfect stat horses, but I really don't. I think I have like one or two, and I've already used one of them, and I think that's Samurai Arrow or somebody else. But I don't really have like perfect stat horses yet. But with these newer ones we've gotten, I think we're getting closer to, to getting better horses at that level. So as you can see, she is clear out in front. Bells B. Gotta say, I like actually how the red and yellow kind of looks for her. And uh, she is off and running, 150 meters left to go. She is clear by 10 lengths. The field is already gassed. And wow, Bells B. What, this is a 20 length lead. Holy cow. That had to have been a three second victory, I hope. Two to three seconds. And it's, yeah, it's literally a full three. It's 3.1 second victory for Bells B. She looks absolutely fantastic. I think she's going to do very well for us in live events. And I'm um, speaking of that, let me show you guys. I have a lot of friends now. We have a lot of friends. Um, if you guys haven't added me, I don't know what you're waiting for, especially if you play this game, like add me, because um, there's still 15 spots left on the HRG Stables team. So, um, you know, you guys can still join up. Now, uh, of course, we're not ranking well because like, like nobody's really even paying attention. But as you can see, team info, there's only two people that have actually raced. Uh, the other two have been offline. 
Um, as you can see, we have five out of 20 team members here for HRG Stables. So that's freaking awesome. I have the group on private right now because I'm waiting for those Rival Star videos to go up. But by the time this video is up, the group will be public. So you can join it, um, obviously, for my friend request. I have 23 friend, friends. I went from... I went from two to 23 in like 24 hours. I, I've been more active in the Facebook group and people have actually been um, accepting and adding uh, me as well, which is fantastic. Like I said, the community is really, really cool, man. Like people don't hate on each other in this community. People aren't like n like talking badly about one another and or anything along those lines. It's a very, very chill and awesome and fun community. And just to see how many people are from around the world. You see, you know, some of these people are with Team India. Uh, they're the best team right now. Steel Racing, Wild and Free, um, Legends, Regulators, uh, Sashkin Team S, probably butchered that pronunciation. Horses R Us, Turkish Power. I mean, there are literally people from like everywhere. Um, you know, I have, uh, I mean, clearly I have friends from all over the world in this game. And uh, we help each other. I can request items. They can request items um, as well. Um, especially if you're like running out of items or like you don't have uh, some. In fact, I should be able to request something now. Yeah, I can request something. I think I need like nails or something. Definitely need some hardware. Yes, please. I need more hardware. Hardware is what you use to upgrade your facilities in here for anybody that's not familiar. So you need like nails, hammers, it's, you know, little stuff like that. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Appreciate your love and support. Uh, next time we come back, probably some more grinding. No more breeding yet. I need to wait to see how these horses pan out. But I will start moving some horses around. I probably will start selling some as well just to clear some more space because I think I'm running out of like uh, stable space. So we definitely need a couple more slots left. Appreciate you guys' love and support on the channel as always. But until next time, Horse Racing Gamer sending out. Hope you all have a fantastic day. I shall see you later. And good luck. Welcome to Horse Racing Gamer, where champions are made.